Hello YouTubers, so here we are in 2023. This is my first major project of 2023. So what I got going on here is a doorbell circuit. A traditional doorbell circuit you find in your house. But I also tacked my stuff on to the doorbell here. Which I want to incorporate this into my intercom system. I want to incorporate to these amplifiers, which by the way, this one is a new amp. Well, I will explain that in a future intercom system update without giving too much away. So, here's your traditional doorbell setup. You got your, your light it up button or just a standard button right, right by your front door. There's your low voltage transformer to power the doorbell circuit. And here I got the infamous Arduino Uno that I showed a while back activating that. I decided to change gears. So I decided to put this to a real practical use. So I put a code on here that if you short out analog pin one to ground on the top here, it will run through its program, which really what it does is it turns on pin, I believe it's pin 13, digital pin 13. It turns it on for 6 seconds or 6,000 milliseconds. That's the way how Arduino has it done. So what that, what that digital pin 13 will do, it's going to power two additional relays. I have it powered powering this relay i got a proper relay board that's gonna switch this that's gonna change this out this is temporary has a flyback diode on it i'm aware of that here's my little mess of wires here some of that stuff is irrelevant i was just messing with other code so what those two relays will do off of here when it's powered from here it's gonna stay on for six seconds one of them is gonna activate this mp3 trigger board with a preloaded preloaded song or or voice whatever you want to call it because this was a in-store it was part of an in-store demo unit i've had this board for a number of years i put a voice and a ding dong on it to play over the intercom system which i gotta do it with these guys it's gonna pass through all of them including the one to the workshop that's another significant change that will be part of a future video. But one's going to go to here to act to basically act as one of these minus this blue LED you see here. It only will activate the button portion. The other one is going to activate the mute revisions on these. The same mute revision that I use for Page. I want to interrupt my music. Or programming to all of these amps whenever someone goes walks up to the front door on the other side of that wall rings the doorbell I want to go through all of these so enough of the talking let's test it out I have just single chime on because I don't want the dogs to go crazy so here we go Fine. Door. and then we click it again this is the front door Now that voice you go, that you hear, I actually just went to some website, put in a voice, put in a text to speech, slowed it down, and then they let me download the MP3. And then I went back in Audacity. I added that tone in addition to the voice, and combined them together to make one whole track. And then I load it as an MP3 onto this board here. This actually has onboard flash memory. That is what's going to be played across this whole system. And then after six seconds, the relay will, the two relays will disengage and it'll be back to normal music programming unless someone clicks the doorbell again after the six seconds. Because that's always been a problem in this house. That or my room's out here, the main room. The doorbell's on the far opposite side of the house. And whenever I'm jamming out and there's like a package getting dropped off, I can't never hear them ringing the doorbell because it's so far. And as far as the wiring situation goes here, 
there's an attic access on the other side of the house that I have clear access to the wires. But remember that wire that I, the mystery security wire videos, those of you that watched it, I have that wire tucked up there. And I know where the other end of that goes, so I was going to parallel off parallel my circuit off of the doorbell the existing doorbell the way i have it done here exactly this is exactly the way i was set up here right now so that wire i'm going to tap tap that wire onto the existing doorbell system and it will be easily brought back into here and then i'm going to build a custom enclosure for this and house all of this in there as far as the page and this goes, mixing those two audio signals, I'm going to use, I actually have a device for that, which it's just extra at this point. Have it put away here somewhere. It's kind of similar to that. I think it's on this amplifier. Yes, these are extra amps. There we go. So this little bad boy here, I bought a while, a long time ago off of Amazon. I think it was like a year and a half ago. So input one, I'm going to have the normal page from the UTI one come in. You could adjust the volume accordingly. And input two here, I want to have that MP3 trigger board go to this. It's going to merge the two together, however you want to adjust it. And it's, come out, it's going to come out of one output. Onto the existing lines, I'll pass through every single speaker on the system every single one <laughs> through these amplifiers so yeah this is this is stage one of the setup okay youtubers so it's the next day with the project it got a success here so this wire you see disconnects to the existing doorbell system at my house I have it spliced into that wire up there the mystery security wire I, I, I splice into that in the attic to the doorbell wire. So now it's all connected. So now we'll go to the front door. It's a little rainy out here. Got this here. I also changed the button out because the old one, the light was out. So I put a new one in. But now I can do that. And yes, I changed the voice and the speech now. Didn't really like the other one too much, so I put I actually edited another one. And the existing doorbell, as I mentioned, is all on the opposite side of the house. I don't mind the, the stuff I did on there because I wet, had a wedge and stuff so the dogs don't bark at it. But there's the existing. I spliced it all in up here because they all met all together right around here. Also found some beer cans in the process in the attic from the, the builders. So, and there's the transformer here. That's the transformer that's original to this house. Everything is working. So now the next part is building this thing in an enclosure and putting it on the intercom system. Of course, it's late at night. Of course, we gotta have more late night projects. So, the books, the books is just to isolate these because I finally got all of my, the rest of the parts from Amazon today. I got this proper relay board now, instead of that cheesy relay I had going on. That is connected to the Arduino, as is. Here's my MP3 trigger board. And here's my Fifine mixer. All of these is powered off of this, completely off of this, from the outputs. So this puts out 24 volts DC, which is to use for self-amplified speakers like the Valcoms. Well, I don't really hook that stuff up to this, so... And I didn't want to have a wall, another wall warp to power all of this, so what I decided to do... 
got the power coming out. This is the positive side. I put a one amp fuse. I plan on putting fuses on every single one of these devices in the event something were to ever short. Hopefully not, but if something ever had a short, I'd rather pop a one amp fuse than cremate this. Because I care about my safeties. But also, all these devices, how I'm getting all this to be powered off of this is through these DC to DC converters I have here. Which is why I have these books here. To prevent these boards from flowing around and potentially shorting, shorting out against something. Or worst case scenario, blowing something up here. We don't want that. That's, that's why I have a wedge, wedge like this. The nice thing about these little DC to DC converters are they have little indicator lights to show you that they are running. These are these are adjustable, and that's the reason I got these. Because with this Arduino here, it takes 9 volts DC to operate. And this relay board is actually getting its power from here. I know most people say don't do it like that, but that's how I prefer it. I don't want to have to run another one of these. Just trying to simplify this as much as possible. So this takes in 9 volts right here. All of this. And it's powered off of this DC to DC converter here dialed at 9 volts. This MP3 trigger board you see here. This proprietary trigger board. Is powered off of this. And that, that this alone requires 5 volts to operate. I dialed that in at 5 volts. And this five fine mixer that you see here is completely powered off of this dialed at 12 volts so 24 volts is being converted to all these special voltages for these devices to operate because i can't just shove these on there like that because honestly i'll blow these up and put them in an overvolt state i got my doorbell wire just temporarily strapped up completely connected to the door on the other side so there's a little service loop that's the wire i'm going to be using and page does work at the moment it's just going through these computer speakers as you can see extension 810 it's in trunk mode in case you're wondering it, it sounds pretty good on these computer, computer speakers, speakers. Um, the, the void, the void, the void system, system is on these 90s computer speakers, cheapo speakers. So there's that. Now again, this is my guinea pig UTI one. I have another one in it. It's, going, it's actually going to be connected to that. So kind of, it's nice to have spare parts because you can kind of mess with things without ripping your existing system apart. This is just my trigger wire because I don't want to ring the doorbell right now because if I do, the dogs will bark and it's late at night and no one will be happy at me. So this is how I do the do this test. Assistance at front door. Assistance at front door. There we go. Now I stuck this LED on there to show that it's activated. So these relays, so these little lights you see, they turn off when you activate it. And this LED here turns on, and I'll do it again so you can see. It's hard to do it without looking at the camera. There we go. Assistance at front door. Assistance at front door. So I have been playing with the code on this. So I adjusted the seconds now to 9,000 milliseconds because that's what the, that's how, that's how you have to set it. It does it by milliseconds, which is really nine seconds. But, so this, so this relay you see here, this is going to go to that. Obviously it's the trigger. I must, two is going to be skipped because I'm only using two relays and I'm going to go to this third one. This third one's going to be responsible for the mute revision on these amplifiers you see. So that's my mute revision. <clears throat> and those of you electricians out there that watched this channel, you're probably curious on how I got this doorbell contraption going here. I took this relay out of a garage door opener 
It's 24 volts DC. The, that's what the coil takes. And I wrapped in electrical tape so the pins are now, you know, shorting out against anything. And here's my alligator clips coming down. I also put another fuse. Just to, This is on the doorbell side. And I have it going straight into this full bridge rectifier, as Electro Boom likes to call it. I actually ripped this off an old, some old little keypad thing. <laughs> I found it in the back and I just disarmed it and put it right on here and it works great. It's actually used for a 12 volt application, 12 volts AC, but it works pretty well in 16 volts AC. So this converts the 12 volts, the 16 volts AC to 16 volts DC to energize that relay. Cause that's what that relay requires. So yeah. This is some more progress I'm making with this and hopefully maybe tomorrow, if not the day after, I'll finally put this all in an enclosure and hopefully get this installed permanently on this entire system. Okay, YouTubers, so I finally put everything in an enclosure before installation. Yeah, it's a little messy, but it's actually not bad. And I also got proper board boards risers on these so little mounts it's it's all screwed down to this and all raised up and just enough so all my wires can go behind and i also kind of did some cable management here's the five fine mixer inside here's all my dc to dc converters i'll put in there's my relay board mp3 trigger board Arduino in the back, breadboard, and then obviously a ground loop isolator to isolate this from that. I did something a little different. So this button was actually original to that board. I rewired this button to act to test the full functionality of this now. So now when I click it. Assistance at front door. Assistance at front door. So there you go. That's a test button. So that way, if something ever went wrong, I can, you know, click that test button and see if it's either the doorbell side that's acting up, which this is the doorbell wire right here. I got to get that prepped and ready to be put inside the closet. There's a cover that goes over this. So all of this will be protected. And I have all my 3.5 mil cables all ready to go because it's going to get attached to these amplifiers. I got my mute wires ready to go. Doorbell controller installed in its permanent location. And I do some modifications to the UTI-1 to allow the signals to pass. So now this, the audio out of this passes through input 2 on the mixer. Input 1 is that MP3 trigger board you see. Yeah, everything's going, so I'll play some music. I have it connected to the intercom system now. Page works like normal. As you can see, it still works as usual. Nothing new. So there's that. And I put a test button on the side. I would ring the doorbell, but I got dogs and I don't want to make them all mad. So here we go. Let's press the test button. Assistance at front door. Assistance at front door. So yeah. Then I'll resume back with the music. There we go. Every single one of these, including the shop, is all connected to this. Here's the shop going on the system. There's the button over here. Assistance at front door. And the music will resume. And the existing house doorbell is still going too, in addition to this setup. So yeah, this is the project.